guys, welcome back to another theory. Now, in this theory, we're going to be discussing about a Disney Pixar movie. Well, Pixar movie. But, if you've been on my channel for more than six months, if you've been subscribed or you've been watching for six months, or like these last six months, then you'll know that my most popular video on my channel is when my parents surprised me with tickets to Disney for my birthday. I went completely insane. If you guys want to check that out, just go to popular uploads on this channel and you'll get the first one to come up. Um, so, as being a Disney nerd, I obviously love Disney movies and Pixar movies and everything like that. And I didn't come up with this theory. Um, my favorite YouTube theorist, Seamus Gorman, did. So if you guys want to check out his video, it'll be in the description if I can find the link. Um, so we're going to be talking about Disney's most successful, I mean, Disney's most recent successful Pixar movie, if that makes any sense. And that is Inside Out. Now, Inside Out is really, really good. They did a really amazing job with it. But there's one thing that stands out. Why in the movie did they move so quickly? You literally, it was like opening scene, boom, they moved. Like, why? Normally someone doesn't move that fast unless they're like running from the law or something. I don't know. Um, and so we know that Riley's dad works with like a moving company probably. Because he's always on the phone talking about when the investors can arrive or come. Um, and so that leaves the question, what in the world did Riley's mom do? Um, if you guys don't know, and I didn't know this for the longest time either, but her mom's name is Jill. Jill Anderson. With an O, okay? It's with an O. Just remember that. That's going to be a very key point of information. Her last name is spelled with an O, okay? So, what does she do? We don't really know. They didn't tell us at all. But, we, I'll get a picture on the screen if I can find it. But you know that scene when Riley's going to like run away because Anger gets the brilliant idea to run away and go back to Minnesota because, you know, Riley kind of thinks that her parents ruined her life and, you know, um, she just wants to be anywhere but there. Yeah, you know, that wonderful, loving family scene. Yeah. Um, when she takes her mom's credit card out of her, her mom's bag, when she sneaks downstairs take, to take her mom's credit card out of the bag so she can buy a bus ticket, we notice that on the back of her mom's credit card, it says K. Ann Anderson. What? Why? Why? Her mom's name is Jill. Jill Anderson with an O. On the back of her mom's credit card, it says K. Ann Anderson with an E. Okay, Disney is officially hiding criminals in their movies. So, with the evidence that the mom's name on the credit card is not the same as the mom's name in the movie, well then, why is the name different? You might be asking. Yeah, I don't know. But, maybe Riley's mom steals credit cards for a living. Oh, boom! Disney's not as nice as we thought they were. They're hiding criminals in their movie. Oh, um... Now, my favorite YouTuber theories that I told you about, Seamus Gorman, did point out that one other um, Disney Disney Pixar character that um, appeared in Toy Story 3 as Bonnie's mom has the last name Anderson with an E. Now you're probably like, are they friends? I don't know. Maybe Toy Story 3 will shed some evidence on that. Uh, I mean, Toy Story 4. Um, but, yeah, that... Wow, Riley's mom steals credit cards for a living, probably. Wow. Great, great job, Pixar. Great job. Wonderful job. And so, yeah, that's the theory for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite Disney Pixar movie. And make sure to subscribe because getting 2,000 subscribers is my ultimate YouTuber dream. So if you guys can make that come true, that'd be awesome. And make sure to share this video around with other Disney fans. Bye!